I'm speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time, a time of disruption in the life of our country, a disruption that has brought grief to some, financial difficulties to many, and enormous changes to the daily lives of us all. Here's some top comments from Twitter. Long live the Queen, a truly inspirational lady. Queen Elizabeth urged strength and discipline amid the, the worldwide problem in a rare televised message to the Commonwealth. We will succeed, Queen's speech, retweet. Quote, success will belong to every one of us. Better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. Hashtag God save the Queen. Queen Elizabeth. Hashtag Windsor Castle. Another reminder today of how fortunate we are to have Her Majesty the Queen as our head of state. Quote, the pride in who we are is not a part of the past. It defines our present and future. Better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royal tea. Did the Queen's speak, speech make a sly mention of Prince Harry and Meghan? Uh, this photo is the Queen and Margaret uh, making, this is the Queen making her first speech to the children uh, in the war effort. Uh, some other things that we have going on. Harry has not made an application for USA citizenship. Uh, he can only stay for six months. If he stays over six months in the United States, then uh, he will owe taxes to the United States. Harry and Meghan have stated publicly that they will do nothing to harm the Queen and that they will not take on any projects that, you know, speak poorly of the Queen. Well, you know, there was just Meghan Markle escapes the crown. I don't think anybody noticed that. I mean, if you look that up on YouTube, nobody's watching, has very few views. Uh, she, you know, that, that's going to uh, kick out any tell-all books or interviews. And when the money runs out, that's, that's where they always turn. They always turn to the tell-all. Charles just kicked in $2.5 million for security. I don't know. Uh, so they're also renting in Malibu a $20 million home, but Harry's only worth $36 million. Are they going to be able to buy in Malibu? Uh, Boris Johnson is now on oxygen after testing positive 10 days ago. Is he going to recover or is he going to get worse? Trump praises the Queen's speech. Is this positive for the Queen? And do Trump and the Queen share a fan base? They seem to. They seem to get along swimmingly. And they seem to be fans of each other. Let's take a look at some of these things. Let's look at the Queen and Harry. Okay, and the quote is, the quote is, Today, once again, many will feel a painful sense of separation from their loved ones. But now, as then, we know deep down that it's the right thing to do, the Queen said in a moment that seemed to refer to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who are self-isolating in their new home in Los Angeles, thousands of miles away from the rest of the family. So a painful sense of separation from their loved ones, but we know it's the right thing to do. Was the Queen referring to Harry? You know, Harry is her grandson. I don't think she and Meghan get along so wonderfully. So was that, a, was that a dig? Was that a reference to Harry being so far away? And uh, Megan has not seen Doria yet since they've been in L.A. But that can be chalked up to, you know, the worldwide crisis and self-isolating. So let's look at the Queen. Is she referring to Harry? The Queen. Harry. Curious to see how this will answer. What's this? We have... All right, so on the bottom we have, well, 14. Uh, in the hidden situation, we have 14, cup overflowing, and 
cornerstone. 14 is four diamonds. So emotional about the, the, the family foundation. And then we have blocked and cast out. So emotional about them leaving. So yeah, underneath there is an undercurrent of this. What's on the surface? We have the queen here, close relationship, transformed, and permanent family. Nine, three hearts, sweet appearance, lightly. So butterfly is very light. Three hearts is very light. Kind of, she was alluding to it. She's alluding to family. She's lightly touching family, close family relationships uh, in a positive way. She's lightly touching this. So she was referring to that. What about Harry? Hamster wheel, overseas, very far away, across the water, isolated, uh, and sweet reminisces. 12 and 10, 22, six diamonds, uh, hand in hand. He's, he's among strangers. He's very far away. Uh, he's isolated, and he's among strangers. Yeah. So she was referring a little bit to Harry. She was referring to Harry and the, you know, the fact that he's so far away. Uh, and she was also you know, making allusion to everyone else because this was to, to cheer up um, you know, the, the Commonwealth. Harry's not made uh, an application for USA citizenship, according to Omid Scobie, okay, and he's their inside guy. So is he going to make an application for USA citizenship? Because if he doesn't, he cannot stay in the U.S. more than six months a year. And even with a very heavy travel schedule, that means he can't actually live there. Uh, he and Megan, if they're going to stay together, need to live half the time they need to be like snowbirds. They need to live half of the time in the UK and half of the time in the US. At most, they can only live six months a year, 180 days a year in the US. They have to otherwise live in a Commonwealth country. And I don't think other people are saying he can live six, he can stay six months on a visitor visa and then leave the country and then come right back in for another six months. Well, maybe he can, but then he's going to own tax. He's going to owe taxes if he stays more than one. 180 days in the United States uh, and not in his home country because that's his new home, whether he declares or not. So will Harry make an application for USA citizenship and lose his, his title as prince and his place in the, you know, in the, the crown? You know, he's the spare. He's sixth in line. He'll lose that. Wow. It's all that. So literally, he can't live in the United States, and he can't become a U.S. citizen. Uh, how's that going to work? Okay, they, this, the, the plans to live in California, it's not possible. It's not possible for Harry. It's completely possible for Megan, but it's not possible for them to be together and to do this. On the surface, strength, inheritance, and Mother Earth. 23, 33, yes, hmm. nine hearts. So key decision, uh, his, his title and his princely title, inheritance, and where he comes from is very strong, and it's a very key decision. So is he going to apply for U.S. citizenship? This is probably the biggest decision of his life uh, to, to give up. That would be the biggest decision of his life. Uh, underneath... No, finger of God, devil, and yes, 29, 36. No, we have yes and no, 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 yes, yes. So uh, outside intervention is going to stop this terrible, this, you know, unbelievably harmful. Why not just shoot yourself in the head? Uh, I, I think the royal family is going to put a stop to this madness because he can't give up his, his prince title. He can't give up his place in the royal family. He just can't. That's beyond terrible. He just can't do it. 
All right, so Harry and Meghan have stated publicly they'll do nothing to harm the Queen. They'll take on no projects that harm the Queen. But literally, that's all Meghan does. Okay, and I think it's interesting that the uh, latest thing was Meghan Markle escaping the crown. Not Meghan and Harry, not Meghan and Harry and Archie. Uh, just Meghan Markle escaping the crown. And all she does is accuse you know, bigotry and sexism and, you know, it was a toxic, soul-crushing environment. So has the crown threatened to cut off the money? Because that's the big deal. Uh, it's all fine and well to leave, but there's, you leave the money, that's it. Has the crown threatened to cut off the money if they keep slamming, if Meghan and Harry keep slamming them? Have they threatened to cut off the money? Mercury communication, hand in hand, many people involved, and conflicts. Nine and nine, 18, five diamonds going forward, going forward through many people. This has been kind of subtly stated to them, communicated to them many times through many people. There's a lot of people around Meghan and Harry. There's all this security. You can talk to any of the, especially the main security guys, you know, by the way, this is the gossip, this is the word. And so they would be communicating, and they would be communicating back and forth. Whatever Harry and Meghan are doing, the security is telling the Crown. They've got people everywhere who can tell on them, and it goes both ways. Uh, and that's what's going to happen. So through many people, very indirectly, through many people, they're getting this signal. You know, you keep this up, we're going to cut off the money. Underneath. Woman, olive tree, and home. People close to you, deeply rooted situation, and woman. 10 and 12, 22, six diamonds again. Otherwise, nothing has changed. Everything is very solid and a peaceful situation. It's just being hinted at. So there's no overt threat. There's no email or letter or, you know, William hasn't called up and said, look, you know, cut it out. Uh, none of that has happened. And uh, Meghan Markle escaping the crown was a huge bomb. Nobody watched it. I'm shocked at how little interest there was. I'll have to check the numbers on it again. But you could just go on YouTube and type in Meghan Markle escaping the crown and see what kind of numbers they're getting. They're not getting huge numbers. They're getting really small numbers, which is, was really shocking to me. I thought there would be a lot more interest. So they're currently renting in Malibu for twenty million, a twenty million dollar pad, you know, a Hollywood pad. But Harry's only worth thirty six mil, which is more than half of of his net worth. He's going to dump, and Megan's going to take it all. Megan's going to take that Malibu rental, and then take. She's going to take the house if he pays twenty million for a house. She's going to take it in the divorce, and then make him pay the the mortgage for it. Okay, so how much money does that leave Harry? Does he, is he going to eat, be eating pork and beans for the rest of his life? Uh, so will Harry and Meghan buy in Malibu, or will they need to find a cheaper location? Ooh, ten spades. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh dear. Look at that. Yeah, that's not a happy spread. That's a spread full of difficulties. Alrighty, so are Meghan and Harry going to be able to buy in Malibu? Because the, the starting price of homes in Malibu is $20 million. Okay, and that's half of Harry's net worth. Uh, and Meghan is bringing a, a staggering, I think, $5 million to the table. So, even if you add it all up, and I'm not expecting Megan to kick in, even if you add it all up, they, it's not enough. So, what's on the surface? Hidden, hidden disaster. 
Okay, 20, 30. Oh, 30 is eight diamonds. Eight diamonds, cornucopia, money. So money is a huge problem for them. Money is the problem, and they're hiding this. They're keeping this under wraps, but there's absolutely no way they can afford a $20 million home. So if they do it, it's going to be a disaster. Now, just because they can't afford it doesn't mean they won't buy it, but if they buy it, it's a huge disaster. So they're very concerned about the money. Underneath, snake, player, straight razor, mustard seed. Player is about keeping up the image. Snake, very difficult to keep up the image. Uh, and, and root there. Let's see, 23, 24, 25 in this direction. It's becoming more and more and more difficult to uh, stay on this path. You know, uh, they didn't have to choose Malibu. I don't know, maybe Beverly Hills is actually cheaper because these neighborhoods change. You can go to Manhattan Beach. I lived out in L.A. for a little bit. Uh, I used to go hiking by Spielberg's house. Uh, there's some really great paths over there. It's along the cliffs and... It's very beautiful. Um, so uh, it's nothing but problems for them to buy there. Just nothing but problems. Nothing but problems. Okay, so we have Trump praising the Queen, which is great. I love to see that. And, you know, the Queen and Trump seem to have a really good positive relationship. Do the Trump, do Trump and the Queen share a fan base? You know, uh, are supporters of the Queen primarily Trump supporters? Are Trump supporters often uh, supporters of the Queen or not? Are Trump supporters often supporters of the Queen? Are they like the same? Uh, is there a lot of crossover there? Okay, are Trump supporters supporters of the Queen? Because Trump is a big supporter of the Queen. The Queen is a supporter of Trump. Man, honest man, connected the whole world. Uh, 23, six clubs. Very deeply rooted. Good, strong connection with the world. So the world does see them very connected. The Queen and Trump are very, very connected. So if... You know, if you're someone who loves the Queen, but you suffer from Trump derangement syndrome, that kind of seems like a contradiction in this age, because the Queen and Trump are very solidly linked here. Uh, underneath, cornucopia, coffin, and water into wine, 1625 spades. Okay, so blockage and hiding or death, renewal and cornucopia. So they're very linked through trade agreements. Okay. Uh, the UK obviously just did Brexit. Okay. And they're doing it now. It's an ongoing process and it's all about money. So here's money, uh, coffin renewal. So they're renewing the relationships over money, coffin, uh, and blockage, but there's serious problems in the market now and a blockage, and everything is just going into the toilet because of this worldwide problem. So it's the, the relationship has been renewed. The relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States have been renewed because of money, but uh, it's not the, the markets are going very bad because of the worldwide problem. So Trump represents the United States as the president, and the Queen represents the United Kingdom as... The, so that's the connection. So they do need to get along. If our countries are going to get along and cooperate very well, then the leaders of those countries need to get along. And that's what's going on. Uh, and I think the four spades and the five spades talk about this unexpected problem that has cropped up, you know, worldwide where everybody is self-isolating now. All right, so Queen and Harry. Is the Queen making subtle mention of her grandson, Harry. Absolutely. 
she's very lightly, very sweetly making mention of this permanent and close relationship for herself and for the world. Harry is very isolated. He's overseas, but the relationship is still good. And he's among many strangers. Uh, so uh, underneath, clearly, it's an emotional, it's talking emotionally about the foundation of the family and how he's been cast out and he is, ha how he's blocked and cut off from them currently. Okay, will Harry apply for U.S. citizenship? Because he really can't. He cannot apply for U.S. citizenship. He has to renounce his princely title and lose his place in the line of succession. So the, his place in the royal family is very solid. It's very solid. And underneath, the, the crown will intervene to stop this, this ultimate stupidity. So he just can't do it. And you have, you have two yeses and two noes showing in this spread. So it's a very, very, very life-changing decision. Probably the biggest, the, if he did it, that would be like the worst thing he ever did. All just to move to California? I lived in California. I left. Everybody's leaving California. You know, it's not that great. I mean, California was beautiful, but they ruined it. So, all right. So, I can't read my own writing. Crown. Oh, did the crown threaten to cut off the money uh, if they keep, you know, they're going to stop saying negative things, which is ridiculous because that's all Megan does. And when the money runs out and the money is a disaster, they're going to, she's going to do the tell all. That's all she's got. That's all she's got. She's got the, that's what they've got. Okay. And if Harry does that, that's it for Harry. So are they subtly, did they threaten them and say, don't do it. We're going to cut off the money. Through many people, there's just a lot of people involved, and, and there's messages passed back and forth, and there's all these people talking back and forth. And no, nothing is direct, and it's, everything is very positive and fine. Uh, but just on the side, you know, the security people, and, the, and they have all these people working for them, and they'll just, they, everybody talks to everybody. They have to. That's, that's business. So will Meghan Markle and Harry buy in Malibu because they just simply don't have the money? No, this is a disaster, and they're hiding it. They're, it's all a big sham. It's all just, you know, showing, you know, to be wealthy, you have to look and act wealthy. They're looking and acting wealthy, but they're not. Okay, they're really, really concerned about the money, and they just can't afford, they can't afford to live there. They can't afford that, that kind of lifestyle anymore. Okay. Are Trump supporters and Queenie supporters, are they the same? Absolutely. I find that very interesting. Absolutely. But there's big problems monetarily right now because the markets are crashing. But that's all going to change. That's going to turn around. As soon as, this, as soon as the worldwide problem crests and we start get to the halfway and begin to the other side... Uh, then everything is going to start, all the boats are going to rise again very quickly. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to those who uh, have generously uh, bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.